gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Oh man, this is ridiculous. What's up, everybody? Care to join me in this cacophony of thoughts? Motivation. In middle school, I had some motivation to do very, very good things and to do very well. Surprise, surprise, coming from a 4-0 student of three semesters at a community college. Right? I didn't have a lot of motivation. But FCCLA, info right here on my face. And thinking of myself, me, a role model for people below me that are members and for people above me that aren't members, I began to motivate others and even myself in the process. The ultimate key was believing in myself, guys. Come on. Following that, I sang in chorale and jazz choir, upheld a few club positions, and actually a statewide leadership conference office position for two times, made high honor roll for marking periods in a row, and co-hosted a kid's TV show, participated in YouTube community projects like The Good Stuff and 365 Nerds and Shake Timber, and even had a few people tell me that I inspired them. Crazy. I know. Anytime I need encouragement, I look at what I've accomplished with other people and what I've accomplished by myself. What else can I do? What other value can I create? But how did I suddenly change my mindset in middle school and understand all of this? It doesn't happen overnight. You start small. You start to realize your potential when you start to commit yourself. It may have been at the leadership workshop I went to over the summer in the Adirondack Mountains, but I like to think it starts small. Or I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. But why? How does it occur and how have I maintained it over this long period of time? Since eighth grade. I believe it's in communities where personal disbelief is actually driven out by shared experiences. Committing to the success of something outside yourself actually helps you succeed and believe in yourself. It's contagious and magnetic, right? That's what happened in eighth grade. It turns out intentionality moves the needle and I don't have to wait for these fluctuations in motivation. I have to commit and remain committed for a long period of time despite the mood that I have. Once I did that, I accomplished what I set out to do and I accomplished even more spontaneous things with other people that I didn't expect. I am very humble, happy, happy and grateful for all of that. I really changed. So what I want to do is I want to reflect on this and share with you some ways that you actually influence and motivate other people, positively or negatively, mind you. This includes knowledge, relationships, abilities, your sacrifices, your experiences, your intuition, your character, your humility, your relevance, and your convictions. Whew, that's a lot. Any one or combination of these can actually help or hurt somebody's motivation. It's more than you think. It's important to take note that change is not easy and we have to hurt, see, or know enough to change unless we have the motivation to, despite all the long life difficulties that we're facing. We have to feel our way into actions with enough awareness so we don't willingly or unwillingly react our way into our emotions. Self-awareness and our ability to motivate ourselves gives us control over that reaction. It gives us control over creating who we are. Motivation, before change becomes difficult also helps us learn self-evident truths before they become self-evident. No rude awakenings! That's learning. Discovery of truths before they're self-evident. Wind. Wind. Learning from other people's mistakes before you have to have the actual experience to learn the self-evident truth. This focus on leadership enables me to view these fundamental life truths and to see them complexly and to understand them so that I can align my actions with the ideals that they represent. Just knowing them motivated me. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Every leadership image provides one and maintaining self-motivation is an epitome of those ideals. How do I keep myself motivated? Well, for one, I keep myself interested and creative. I also write in journals every so often and remind myself of the good things that I'm actually doing. How about awesome and inspirational YouTube discoveries? Yes! Internet! How can you not? And just to do cool stuff that I like to do. Yes! Would you not? FCCLA Shrine. See, the bird gets it. This has led me to the belief that we ought to intentionally motivate ourselves as best we can. We will fail but not every time. That's where the work lies, in our resilience and our effort. So, what matters most to you? What motivates you? What do you see complexly? Let me do it in my di Let me know down in my diaphragm to my pants region. Keep creating awesome self, don't forget to be awesome, and get interested to be interesting. I'm at Palka, Arr, buddy Palka. Vlogisting on. Buh -buh. May I made head out of the motorcycle? I think that was a car. That was definitely a car. Relevance and your convictions. Thanks, wind. Thanks, wind. Learning from others' mistakes. Learning from our. Oh. <laughs> I just had food.